The main puzzle in the first portion of Resident Evil 2's remake centers around finding three medallions. A lion, a unicorn, and a maiden. Each medallion is hidden within a statue of the same design. Once obtained, they are placed in the central statue in the middle of the station, that of a tall woman in robes holding a flag and a shield. If you examine the base, it becomes clear this statue is a memorial. It reads, In loving memory of those who served with the valor of lions, the nobility of unicorns, and whose ultimate sacrifice is as pure as the maidens of old. It then lists the names of fallen officers. And of course, this statue also hides a secret escape hatch into the sewers. Lions and unicorns both have pretty universal symbolism. The lion is a symbol of pride and strength, often associated with warriors and guardians. In the context of the afterlife, a lion placed on a gravestone or memorial usually means the person who likely died in heroic circumstances. Unicorns are symbols of rarity, purity, and innocence. It's believed they only appear before pure, meaning virginal, young women, though they've also been associated with death and martyrdom, particularly with Jesus Christ. Due to the above, the maiden in this trio, who is referred to as pure in the memorial, is probably Virgo, the Virgin, who is a zodiac sign, a constellation, and is associated with an older concept, a goddess of justice. There's a few reasons to connect this maiden to the zodiac. The symbols used to unlock the statues are nearly all connected to zodiac signs. Some of them are obvious, some more obtuse, and might relate to a couple of things, but the theme seems to be constellations. The pure virgin Virgo is based on the Greek myth of Astraea, the virgin goddess of justice and innocence. She was the last of the immortals to leave Earth and enter Olympus, forsaking mankind as evil due to their wickedness. Legend says she'll return one day and bring a new golden age to Earth. She's often confused or associated with other ancient goddesses of justice, such as Themis and the Roman Justitia, or Lady Justice, who can be seen in this painting on the wall of the library. Her symbols are the sword and scales, representations of her ability to judge others and mete out that judgment swiftly. It's likely the maidens of this precinct, the medallion, the statue, and the large figure in the main hall, are versions of these figures associated with innocence and justice. Given what the memorial reads, and the logic behind having goddesses of justice in a police precinct. In Roman myth, Justitia didn't stand alone over mankind. There was also Prudentia, or Prudence, the embodiment of reason. You can't enforce judgment without a rational mind, and so these two go hand in hand. Prudentia's most famous symbol associated with her is a hand mirror, which is what the maiden statue is seen holding when the medallion is revealed. The statue itself stands in a room of horrors. A note can be found outside the cage that describes how one officer trapped the others inside and forced one of them to kill the others for a chance at survival. The note is manic and violent, and the scene in the cell even more so. There are dead officers throughout the room, most of whom look as if their head or chins were blown off. It's likely these officers were not only locked in this room by their superior, but then shot one by one by a compatriot, who was then killed himself. It is a sad thing that this innocent maiden, a symbol associated with reason and justice, has been forced to be witness to this senseless, unjustified slaughter. There's some irony in the whole situation given who these statues may be, the goddess is, after all, a memorial to fallen officers, and now nearly all of them are fallen. The path to the underground is the only hope Leon has to survive and escape the evil in this town. Much like Astraea, fleeing a corrupted earth and wicked men, Leon will eventually follow the goddess's path and escape this corrupted city. 
There are other works of art in this former art museum that aren't related to the puzzles. In fact, many of them are actually real-world works of art, including Study Head of a Woman, which can be found in one of the offices over the safe on the wall. Woman in a Writing Habit, which is found in a few places, including Wesker's office. The Toilet of Venus, found in the main hall on the right. The Titan's Goblet, found many places, including the underground office of Chief Irons. Virgin and Child with Four Angels, up on the wall in the art room with the statue. Moonlight on Mount Lafayette, New Hampshire, in many places. Portrait of the Painter, in an office. Portrait of a Young Woman, also in many places. And Two Young Men, in Chief Iron's underground office on the bookshelf. All of these works vary greatly in style, origin, and time period, but they have one thing in common. They are all part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art's collection. In fact, they can each be found on the Met's website, which is likely where the team behind RE2 found them. They're public domain works, which means the team were free to find and adapt these works to their game. While I haven't yet found all the works that can be seen in the game, it's a safe bet that many of them came from perusing this museum.